We lost to a team tonight that I thought this had a little too much firepower for us. Obviously, they had two players. Just uh, we had a very difficult time defending. We dug a hole for ourselves there early in the game. But I'm, very, I'm very proud of the fact that our guys fought back. I thought they gave tremendous effort. We got stops, in the, in, but we didn't finish off with blockouts. And obviously, when you have a tremendous athlete like like Bryce, uh, who's who's smart and heady and seemed to always be in the right place right at the, at the right time. Uh, he showed his experience. And I thought that a lot of times uh, we were defending the basket pretty good. We had to rotate over, and they did a very good job to dump offs. Uh, and, and, and I thought that that's where our defense lacked because we didn't rotate in to stop that. But they're, they're a good basketball team. They got a chance to win the national title. Uh, and they showed um, why, uh, I thought, that tonight. Uh, we had some guys I thought that fought very hard. We didn't get very much out of our interior. Uh, they seemed to take us to task on the boards. Um, but but I, I thought our guys fought hard. We just came up a little short against an outstanding basketball team, and we got to give them credit. After two, after two ACC games, Coach Anderson, how do you assess where your team is at? What I think we're a team that's young, immature, and still growing. Uh, we we have our moments where we play outstanding, and we have our moments where we show we uh, we have a lot of youthful experience. Uh, look up. There were several times where I had, I, had, I had four freshmen on the floor, and I thought they held their own for the most part, but the, the inexperience was showed during critical parts of the game. Uh, so, you know, obviously it doesn't help uh, that the, the quality of our depth has been diminished somewhat. We, we don't have field, we don't have uh, Ojo. In a game like this, you need that physicality, a guy who can hold on in the boards, who can just keep uh, neutralized uh, big, strong, athletic players. Tonight, we played mostly four guards for, for, for the majority of the game. I think with five guards there toward the end, and, and I think that that really made the difference in the game. They exploited the fact that we didn't, we didn't match them with the physicality and athleticism with the interior part of, the, uh, of, the, of their team. Obviously, you don't ever like to start the ACC off 0-2. Uh, obviously, uh, that's, that's life on the road, life in the ACC. Every night out, you got an opportunity, you know, to, to, to redeem yourself. And we, as we look towards the, the remainder of our schedule, uh, we still have an opportunity. We can just continue to keep getting better. Uh, but getting better against great teams sometimes might not be quite enough. Uh, we got to step it up and, and not falter in those things that we can that we can control. Tonight, I thought we did a very cool job of keeping. Uh, Bryce off the board, but to his credit, I thought sometimes we had him blocked out and he went over to the athletic system and finished the play. So sometimes it's not all about what you don't do. Sometimes you got to give people credit for doing things right. And I thought they did a very good job of playing through themselves and playing within themselves. And uh, Paige, whenever the, the game was in doubt, it seemed like he just found a way to make a crystal play. And uh, he kept us at bay when we did make some, some, some surges on the Taking an XRM off the point, is that something you only want to utilize when you guys are struggling offensively, or is that just something you try to work into every game? Well, I, I, we don't necessarily take them off the point. It's just that we have two point guards on the floor, and we do whichever one has the ball to initiate the offense. It's fine. They both are similar. So we're not taking them off the ball. We're just adding another uh, dimension to our team. And Booker has a lot of experience. And X is a very good scorer, so sometimes uh, we, we need that, that versatility. The night uh, it gave us a little lift, but not quite enough. Coach, so many. 16 of their last 18 shots. Um, how much of that is, you know, you guys don't have a ton of depth. Uh, how much is that good defense, a bad defense, good offense? It seems like they're making some tough shots. I mean. Well, I'm not real sure. I think if, if I remember correctly, and gosh, you know, I can't remember everything that happened in the game, I think a lot of those were sucker shots where we got to stop and they got to put back. Or, they, they, they penetrated the lane and got dump off. I mean, they were high percentage shots. You know, I, I contemplated going to a zone defense there uh, before they, they made that eight point swing. But I, but but they put Pace back in the game and he doesn't miss very many open threes. And I think that was a pretty good idea. So they made a run on us. And, and then at, during that period, uh, when we I think when we went up uh, a couple points, we missed four free throws. And, they had to surge and they could play the tempo that they wanted to play at that point. And 
that's a dangerous position to be in against a great basketball player. Coach, with so many young guys playing in that environment, getting that experience early on in ACC season, how important was that for them to be in the game, have a second half lead, and learn from this experience? Well, there's no question that that the you can have all the physical tools uh, that you want, but there's a there's a mental and emotional component to the development process of any young kid and of any first year player, any inexperienced player. And I thought at times those guys uh, played with no fear. I thought they, they really played, uh, they executed well, I thought they, they, they battled hard. Uh, sure, we, we made some defensive mistakes and maybe we didn't close out and contest quite as much and we missed some blockouts and we didn't seal the baseline, but that's part of the process. I think the, the, what, where, I, where I see us needing to grow and I see it, us growing in those areas is understanding exactly what the atmosphere is like and how you have to play at this level. Just to call them the quality of teams that we're going to be playing uh, as we move through the remainder of, of the ACC. Coach X just taking over the reins in the end of the first half. Excuse me? X are in, um, you know, at the end of the first half when he started going off, getting hot. Well, you got to understand, he's been in these games. You know, so for him, um, he sees the moment and he, he recognized that that's what we need during that, that period. And, and he, he gave us just what we need to get back into the game. Now, I also thought there were periods where our young guys showed some of that too. I thought Benji came in and gave us a more mature look. He wasn't around. I thought he was very calm. And he made some big baskets for us. And so I, I see some progress being made. It's just that you, you, you this, a great team like North Carolina will make you pay when you make those mental errors that sometimes uh, any case plans will make. But I, I, I don't think that's anything other than part of the process we're going through with who we are right now. And with Chris, with the technical foul, I mean, what happened there? And I think he lost his composure. I thought that uh, that for a moment that I'm sure that uh, he, he, I like to see that fire, I think he's had to control it. I like to see him be emotional and, and clog up the middle. Right now, he didn't even practice at all until the, the day of the first game. Now six, so he's behind in just terms of being comfortable. Uh, but I, but I, I, I like his aggressiveness in there. I thought that he clogged the middle up. I thought he gave us some good minutes when he was in the court. And for a guy who hadn't played very much at all, you know, who didn't have a chance to practice, because he was recovering from a stress fracture to uh, the, the season started. Uh, I, I, I'm pleased with the progress he's made. He's got control of the emotion. And it seemed like he didn't really shy from the moment either. I no. mean, when he came in. No, I, I thought he was competitive. And, and I think, once again, he's 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 adjusted to what it's like playing against, against, against this caliber of competition. I wonder what to say about Malik and Dwayne. They struggle like they did in the first half and then come back and have a big second half in an environment like this. But, but I, I think. I'm not really sure they struggled as much as they were, um, <coughs> what's the word? I, I thought they were somewhat tentative. And, and once they became aggressive, I think bringing them out of the game and them getting a, a little accustomed to the atmosphere and talking to them, they went back in the game. And from that point on, uh, I thought that they adjusted real well. I could tell by their body language when they came to the huddle, what they were talking, how they communicated with their teammates. Uh, once the, they got over the first eight or nine, ten minutes, I thought they were okay. Now, no related, or related no, do you take some measure of encouragement by you know, the way they did battle back after falling down early and the guys showed some resolve to get back in? Well, obviously, because you know, more victories won't give you, will help you at the end of the season. I, I'm pleased with the progress that our guys are making. We, we can't be dissatisfied by playing well through periods for 30 minutes. We got to play the game's 40 minutes. Four to in the ACC if you're going to win basketball. Thank, you, you, very, thank you very much. Thanks,